So here we have version 7 of the new SurfX wallet, the one that everyone's been waiting for. Uh, this is the wallet with the migration process built into it. Now I've already pre-downloaded and installed it. Uh, so far right now we have the Windows and the Mac version. I believe the Ubuntu version is being compiled as I speak and being uploaded to um, GitHub as soon as possible. So I already have this pre-installed and if you already have the old SafeX wallet installed, uh, so version 6 or below, this will install over it and your existing wallet will still be in there. If you've never had a SafeX wallet but you have the old private key you can use it by using the import function here um, uh, there is another video uh, which explains it all so obviously it's a fresh new look for the UI I'm just going to log in you just press enter so it's a fresh new UI which shows the different functions that you can have this is uh, so just to explain, so this is a, a hybrid kind of wallet. So this is predominantly a wallet for the old SafeX blockchain, uh, but it's also a wallet where you can view your uh, new SafeX cash and SafeX tokens. I'll go through that in a minute. As you can see here, it's obviously got the, the usual functions um, in terms of how much SafeX you have, how many Bitcoins you've got, the value and everything and the ability to send and receive safe exchange coins and Bitcoin. Safe exchange coins, if you remember, is the older safe SafeX uh, currency. This is the one that's currently being traded on Trade Satoshi. Uh, this is the coin that has been released since, I believe, it was 2015. So this is the main interface. Uh, you've got the usual refresh. If you want to refresh to... Uh, Check your balances and all that, uh, the ability to copy the address if you need it, uh, the ability to show your private keys if needed, uh, the history of your address, so the uh, how often, you know, when you've received and sent SafeX and Bitcoin. The new option down here to be able to change your password, to export your wallet data and your encrypted keys as well is there. And the part which everyone's probably most interested in seeing is the migration function. So as you can see here, this is, is the address that's um, currently set on my wallet. Uh, you can see that I have 10,000 safe, ex safe exchange coins there. And this migration table here will show the SafeX address. So this is the new SafeX blockchain address that will be generated for me, along with how many SafeX tokens I've got on there and how many SafeX cash. For this particular version, this is just a view only table. Um, you will not be able to send SafeX cash or SafeX tokens to and from other addresses. So this is just a view only. The send functions will be included in version eight. Uh, so the next version, and that version will be here before the Black Friday events. So I'm not in this particular video. I'm just going to show you the actual functionality for now. I will do a full video guide on how to migrate, uh, but I just want to make sure that I do a few, few personal tests first before uh, we go through that, just so I fully understand this, uh, so I can put it across in the video correctly. Um, but if you just press the migration button here, you'll see that there's a full guide on how to do it. Um, the steps and the terms and conditions um, and what you need to do if you have any questions or any issues or anything like that. Um, click the understand so you can create a new address. You can use a previous previously used address or you can use my SafeX address. So if you click on my SafeX address, if you've already generated a SafeX blockchain address, you can enter it in here. You will need the spend key and the view key, and the, obviously the address as well for that. You can use a previously used one. Obviously, I've not set an address in here yet. Uh, you can create a new address as well. Um, 
Here's the address that's been generated for me, the spend and uh, spend key, so both the public and the secret, and the view key, both the public and the secret. You can back up your keys by generating a file here, as you'll see on your desktop, that all the various things that are there, so you can put that into a um, you can put that onto a USB drive or back it up or print it, whatever you need. So there you go. Um, so once this is all started as well, it'll show you how many Bitcoins that you'll need to perform the migration. It'll show you what your Bitcoin balance is as well. Um, so there you go. So let's just reset this. Okay. Migrate. Understand. And all the various things. So the next video, I'll actually go through this entire process of converting 10,000 SafeX on the blockchain um, by generating a new address. I'll also show you how you can import your old address. Uh, I know many of you have generated a, um, a SafeX blockchain address using my offline uh, address generator. I'll show you how to do that as well. But for this video, it's literally just a quick run through, show you how everything is, the new UI, how everything looks, and um, everything else that's needed um, that you might be interested in. So yeah, look out for a new video tomorrow. Um, it'll be sort of uh, mid-morning time, European time, so expect it. And if you've got any questions, by all means, jump onto the forums or the Discord or on Twitter, and we'll try and answer them as quick as possible.